What's up guys and how are we doing today? Welcome to another episode of uh, JD TV Co. Right? Yes. And uh, New Jersey, uh, January, what's today's date? Uh, February 3rd. February 3rd. And let me tell you something, we got slammed with snow. Slammed. Slammed. And you know what? There's an old adage the US Postal Service uses. Neither rain nor sleet or snow, we will always be there. I don't know what the exact wording is, but it's something like that. Let me tell you something. That's a lie. They weren't here. That's a lie. Is that a lie, Nick? We had to beg for them to come yesterday. Had to beg. Two days, they didn't show up. Second day, we're like, hey guys, uh, we got a lot of packages here. You have to come. So they don't send our regular guy. Our regular guy is a rock star. A rock star. And they send some uh, uh, imitation version of a, a postal worker. <laughs> And, you know, meanwhile, we have this huge postal tote we roll out the door, and it's a two-man job getting it out the door, right or wrong. Yeah. It's not a one-man job. So I'm like, hey, buddy, could you grab the front of it? He's like, oh, he goes, oh, you got it, you got it. I go, no, I, I don't have it. I said, it, it, the stuff's going to start falling, and this stuff starts falling. Into the snow. Into the snow. So I was like, dude, you got to help. He's like, okay, okay. So he grabs it, and then he steps to the side, and the packages proceed to fall. I'm like, hey, buddy, I said... Either you help me or you can do it yourself. I said, this is your job, not mine. Now listen, before you guys get all fired up, we know you love the postal workers and we love the postal workers too, but some of them aren't as good as you think they are. No, this guy was a dick. Who's a dick? So, you know, at Jane and Tico, we got, a lot of po we got a lot of shipping stories here. We ship postal, right? Yep. Give us these nice little boxes, we put a stamp on them, label, boom, right into the old Todoruski, no problem. First class, fits in here, right? Yep. Ships. No problem. Into the bag. And then we got FedEx. We use FedEx too, right? Yeah. And uh, FedEx is pretty good. They're a little expensive. They can get the prices down. We get a little more business to them. But let me tell you about our FedEx guy. He's f***ing nuts, right? We have a couple. Yeah. Hey, Maggie, beep that. Um, the one guy walks in. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you a funny FedEx story, right? He walks in here, right? Now, we get a lot of packages, clearly. And he never uses a hand truck. Ever. Nick, am I lying? No. And he's ne like a tall, scrawny guy. Tall, scrawny Scrawny guy, and this guy walks in like this, carrying all these packages like this. I'm like, hey, you want a hand truck? No, I got one. I go, you sure you don't want to borrow ours? No, I got one inside the truck. I go, why don't you use it? He goes, eh, I don't like it. Okay, so this guy's going to be dead in a few years with a broken back. Funny story, one time we were shipping out vices. Vices. Full size, six inch vice. They weighed 38 pounds, I think they weighed? They were heavy. They were heavy. So we got them stacked by the door. This guy bends over and picks up three vices. Okay? And then drops one. Well, you weren't there for that. I wasn't there for that. Dude, he dropped the vice. You would have thought a bomb went off. I'm like, dude, hand truck. There's still a hole in the floor, right? There's whole, yeah, there's, there's an actual, not a hole in the floor, but there's, a, a, there's an indentation in the floor. So, yeah, it, it, it's amazing. But, you know, listen, you know, it, 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 it cracks me up. You have a job. You know, be happy today in society if you have a job. That's the first thing. You know, sitting home on your ass collecting a check is fun for a little bit, but anyway, I don't get old track. I want to get back to selling tools, so that's what like that's what I that's what I do. I sell tools. And uh, Vessel, Vessel Screwdriver Company. Believe it or not, it's one of the first screwdriver companies in the world, over a hundred years old, older than Snap-on, Mac, Maco, GearWrench, everybody. And yes, GearWrench is one of the oldest tool companies in the world too, for the record. Look it up, okay? But Vessel. Hey, someone's gonna fact check me on They can that. fact check me. You can fact, I'm the smartest tool guy. I'm the smartest tool man in the world, okay? You can quote me on that. There's nothing I don't know. I see these people online and they're telling all the history of tool companies. And you know what? They don't know shit. They get half of it wrong in half the time. Okay? And then tell you, you, you and that then, you're wrong. And then cor correct me. Well, you know what, guys? I've been doing this for 35 years, and I do know a little bit about something. And I know Vessel is one of the oldest screwdriver companies in the world. Okay? Proudly made in Japan. And for all you guys that don't know, JIS. These are JIS, Japanese Industrial Standard. What is that, Nick? What is that? Do you know what that is? I know what it is. You know what it is. A little confusing, but... A lot of guys don't know what it is. When you walk over to your Japanese car, or your carburetor on your Harley Davidson, if, they, if you have an older one with a carburetor, and there's a little dot. It's not a Phillips head. It's a Japanese industrial standard. Your snowblower, the carburetor float bowl, is Japanese industrial standard. Yes, your screwdriver will take it out. It will damage it. 
but it may get it out, it may not get it out, but you will fight with it. If you have the right screwdriver, it'll work. You know why? Because it's a Japanese industrial screwdriver for a Japanese industrial screw, okay? So we have these posted. And this is like, the, this is a, the through bolster full tang set. Full tang, steel will be through, hard cap on the end. Go ahead, hit it with a hammer. They don't get mad. And it's lifetime guarantee. We did a deal on a page with these and the vessel torque screwdrivers, right? Yeah, those are nice. How much were these? Uh, I don't know. You didn't do your homework? I didn't do my you didn't homework. You didn't do your homework? No, I didn't. You didn't do your homework? I've been busy the past couple we'll of days. We'll flash it across the screen. Can we do that? Do we have technology? I don't know. This is going to be my first time <laughs> editing a YouTube video, so this one sucks. Uh, I got somebody for you. I got somebody coming. The wolf. The wolf's the wolf? coming. <laughs> You don't got to move, don't move that one, right? Aw, oh, damn, dog. You got the wolf coming? We got the wolf coming. All right? What? I'm just trying to think of the price. <laughs> well, why don't you look at 119. 119. 119. 119. Boom. 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 You get the full screwdriver set, and you get the vessel torques for 119. And that's a pretty good deal, guys. And I promise you, this will be the best quality screwdriver you ever put in your hand. I'll guarantee it. I'll stake my reputation on it. Then they had this set right here. This is this is our most popular selling set, believe it or not. And what this is, this is again Japanese industrial standard. But the silver handle, silver the silver handles, dictate that this is what's called an impact, an impact, an indexing screwdriver. Yeah. So in other words, you put this on your brake job comes in Toyota, Honda, whatever front rotors, Phillips three Phillips head screws, but they're not Phillips. They're Japanese industrial standard. Walk over your screwdriver. Can't get them off, too tight. You go get your impact driver, hit it with a hammer. Screw gets all rounded off, finally comes out. Screws are now shot. You know why it's shot? Because you used the wrong screwdriver. If you would have walked over to, the, to, the, to this car with this silver handled number three JIS screwdriver, put it into your rotor, try turning it out. Now, first of all, you have full engagement. Phillips head screws are designed to cam out at 30 pounds of pressure. This isn't, this keeps on going, okay? Like a hooker in a hotel room. Beat me. So you put that in there, turn it, don't come out, boom, hit it with a hammer, 12 degree index, now it's out. And the screw's not damaged. And it's not damaged because you used the right tool. Right tool, right job. Okay, number two. This is a game changer, people. This is a game changer. Little number two Phillips, you're fighting with it, tap with the hammer, 12 degrees, now it's out. Okay? These are on a page, we have these posts for $39. You don't want to spend a lot of money? $39, you get the two yeah, piece set. Get, set. get this set. I'm telling you, this will change the way you work. Seriously. If you buy them and hate them, send them back. We'll give you credit. I don't care. Okay? And how much is this set? Uh, $87. $87, you get the mix set. Okay? Japanese Industrial, Japanese industrial Standard, full bolster on a, on a red handle, silver indexing. These are just regular screwdrivers with neural tips on the end. Okay. Whew. So anyway, I seen some guy telling a story about monster tools. And he got it half wrong. Half, but he got some of the story right, a lot of the story wrong. But that's that's neither here nor there. Monster is out of business. They lost their name in a in a, in a, a soda battle with a, a giant company called Coca-Cola. Everybody knows it's all over the internet. I'm not letting any secrets out. But Anyway, they had to, they had to liquidate the product. We bought a lot of it, a lot of it. This is pallets of it. I think we wound up buying like six or eight pallets of it, right? Yeah. And I think we're down we're down to like maybe a shelf. maybe a shelf. You know, we should so. blow those lights out. I'm gonna keep them for the truck, I think. But we do have a couple of this. this grab me a socket tray. Socket tray. Oh. Yeah, I got a, I got I got, I got a four of these left. I should. I, yeah, you know, we'll sell them. Anyway, anyway listen, never mind that. We did a deal with these yesterday. You got the cable clamp pliers and the GDT Co. Shop rag, and we did twenty eight dollars. Twenty eight dollars. Twenty dollars, and uh, socket trays. These are all made by the same company. Everybody sells them. Snap on Mac, Maco, Blue Point, MTS, Mechanics Time Saver. Everybody sells this. Okay, and the only difference is they're green. Are the monster, and everybody else, everybody else is red or blue or orange, whatever. And I think we had these for forty two dollars. Forty one. Forty one dollars. I bought a hundred of these, a hundred. And I have 
Four. Four left. So if you see this, we still got them. Go download a wrap. And guys, do me a favor. When you click on my video, hit the thumbs up. I need to feel some, I want to know I'm doing the right thing or hit the thumbs down. If you think I'm an asshole, hit the thumbs down. I, ev I get every video I post, I get one thumbs down. You know where that's from? <laughs> that bully. The bully, yeah. The bully from what, what state are you from? Indiana? Indiana? Yeah, oh, he's yeah, from, yeah. The bully from Indiana. I've never seen him actually work on a car. Oh, yeah. He no. does a lot of talking about how tools are going to change the world and how these tools are going to make his job easy, but I've yet to see him work on a car. I mean, I, I mean, a couple of years ago, like two years ago, I did the welder's challenge, right? In my garage when I was working on my welder's Jeep, I did the welder's, welder's challenge, challenged every tool dealer in America to beat my welds. I didn't see nobody fuck, I didn't see them post to post, right? I laid a perfect no. bead down. You would have thought God put, put, ran, a, ran a bead. What? What? Yeah, no, maybe we should do it again. I should do it again. I'll do another welder's challenge. I'll do any kind of challenge. I got mechanical skills. Anyway, listen to me. Guys, I'm going to get back to work. I need to sell some tools today. I'm snowed in because we had 30 inches of snow and they felt as though, like, you know, where were they going to put the snow? They put it all in front of my tool truck. Now I can't move my tool truck. I am landlocked. Okay? Landlocked. Landlocked. So anyway, listen. So I'm going to get back to work, post some deals, sell some tools, ship some tools, and I want you guys to get to work. And remember, there's no shortcut to success on any level. You can't cheat or beat the system. You have to do everything the right way. Right? Especially in 2021. In 2021, especially 2021. The paper trail for everything. <sighs> exactly, guys. They're watching everything we do. Guys, remember, like, comment, subscribe. I got more gems like this coming. And like we always say around here, come for the price, stay for the show. Peace! That's another story. What? I can't say that? Uh, beep that too. Beep everything. Okay? I'm